Oh, huh. I'm reviewing Freaky, the movie that just came out on Friday the 13th last month into theaters and is about to get that. Take advantage of that short theatrical window and come right to your home. We got Vince Vaughn. We got Catherine Newton and a fantastic cast all the way through. So, Freaky. Is it a, it being a Friday the 13th drop, I was interested. A title with a nod to the body swap cult classic, classic Freaky Friday. And we got Vince Vaughn as a masked serial killer psychopath. So, is Freaky the movie to get a little excitement and bring people back to the movies? Is it the 2020s Scream? Or, hard for me to say, is it another bad horror movie, want to be the next pop slasher, but comes up short? Let's dive in. The opening scene turned me from a skeptic to an optimist, almost immediately. The best backdrop in horror, rich kids underage partying and drinking, rents are out of town, big beautiful house, and some ancient artifact is stumbled upon, usually a weapon. And it's messed with by the sex-crazed, overzealous teenage boy, something weird happens, and then a beautifully masked killer. By the way, I say that the mask is amazing in the opening scene of this. It's one of my favorites. Um, and walks a beautifully masked killer summoned by the dude touching this ancient artifact at this party we're opening with or not, the movie leaves you to decide. You're kind of putting the pieces together almost throughout. It's amazing, though. You don't ever get bored. Uh, the costume and art team killed it. Pun. Um, but this tall killer shows up, and it happens in the first five minutes. So this is not a spoiler. But you can skip ahead 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it. I'll wait. But he brutally murders almost everyone there. Um, and I mean right off the bat. Like, and there's just some creative, amazing trend setting kills. As a horror fan guy, and it's a whole Twitter thing, anybody that's a fan of the horror genre film likes the creative kills. Movies try to outdo each other with that. So it's always one this this one uh immediately makes a statement in that space. It's awesome. You'll scream, zombie kill the weak material, sure, but you will not be able to look away. Um, and then with the knowledge of this. And we get this opening brutal scene, right? It's awesome, too. Well shot. It's a beautiful scene. Immediately pulls you in. Um, well acted. And then with the knowledge of this, the serial killer ends up running rampant, right? And that's our movie. We're opened in our main final girl's life in high school and all that comes with that. you got curfews around the town, a la Stephen King's It. And it's football season, so that sets the autumnal mood, which I love my horrors uh, set in autumn. And you got a diverse and fantastic group of friends that are actually believable and interesting characters. There are no wasted lines, even on side characters. They're all fantastic. You do end up caring about them. Don't freak out. <laughs> You're black. I'm gay. We are so dead. Ow! Will you stop? It's me. That matters. That matters a lot. Um, it's a mistake a lot of horror movies make. Uh, no investment into the cardboard characters. And Freaky just doesn't make that mistake. And I love it for that. So, one fateful night on a football field underneath the moonlight. Our nerdy, picked-on protagonist, who's also the mascot, which probably isn't helping her case, uh, her drunk mother forgets to pick her up. So she's waiting, waiting at the football field, and lo and behold, our six-foot-five knife-wielding maniac makes his appearance. And what is a fantastic chase sequence? You got the underneath the bleachers, across the football field. It's great. Um... Great angle, suspenseful cutaways. Uh, but anyways, old Vincey shows up. And uh, he has to go make the kill, of course, right at the 50-yard line. And then the universe steps in. And the weapon that he's wielding, the one from the beginning, drawing what seems to be power from the sky, and thunder, electricity, all this lightning, I should have said, and uh, fate all mixed together. And, um, and when he goes for the stab on the upper left shoulder... Something happens. Our beloved wedding crasher soul goes into the body of high school girl Millie. Shout out my dog's name, by the way. And likewise, her into him. Now, you could think the hijinks will ensue, and it's probably been done before. Uh, you'd be right, except this time it's at higher stakes, and that actually adds something to this trope. Um, you know, one of them being murder and all. One is a serial killer. You don't see that in Freaky Friday, right? And then it's Vince Dagum Vaughn, and he, pun, murders it. Incredible, incredible form. Love seeing Vince back. 
Um, even going back to swingers, dude's awesome. Now, our st- we got a new star in the making, too, by the way, Catherine Newton, and she kills it as Millie. Wonderful performance. Um, really embodies all that teenage angst. Uh, and as a serial killer inside of her, just kills it. Like, you're, you believe it. You believe both of their performances. It's, it's incredible what can happen um, when someone really sells it. You, you'll, you'll buy it. You'll buy it in this movie. You'll think Vince Vaughn is her and she is him. Uh, and that's killer. Easy, easy. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I know I look like the butcher, but it's Millie. This is going to sound really strange. Booker? Booker, look at me. He's crazy. Okay, Booker, can you look at me, please? Please? Booker, please, can you look at me? You know this is crazy, okay? And there's a lot of voices competing. You, you see my friends, you know Nyla and Jocelyn, they're on my side, okay? And this is clearly not me. Have you ever seen me dressed like that? I mean, I kind of like a, a lot of what he's doing with it, but it, it, it's the point is that you've never seen me dressed like that, right? Do you like that? It doesn't matter. But- so the body swap thing has been done before with a psychopath knife wielding murder. It makes it vastly more interesting. And what follows after that faithful event is you got a lot of setups and payoffs, script wise, great script, no fat on it. You got a high school angst, bullies, revenge, and feels. You got a Stephen King's Carrie esque prom and brutal murder. But instead of the period powers, we get a chainsaw. And you get the movie wrapped in this terrific ending that you do not see coming. I challenge you, comment below if you saw it coming. I don't think you will. And uh, I, I, all that to say, I'm not going to spoil the movie. I wanted to give you a brief, should you go see it or not? Yes, you should. Go watch Freaky. Give this well-acted, great kills, pop culture slasher, wannabe scream of the 2020s isn't quite as good a shot. And go have fun again. I loved it. It was awesome. It was awesome on the big screen. And it's about to come to your home. So no judgment. Either way you want to consume it, just consume it, baby. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please comment and share. And let me know the best movie you've seen in 2020. And was it at a theater? I'm very curious to see that. And uh, go hug your mamas. Merry almost Christmas.